Hey guys, it's Mabisha Mates here. I know it's been a while, but I figured I'll do a get ready with me type video and just talk to you guys about like where I've been, what I'm up to, and talk about random stuff. I kind of want to just connect with y'all, so let's get started. So I know this is not a tutorial, but the all the products that I'm using in this get ready with me will be down in the description bar. You know what the description bar is for. I also want to mention that the colors that I'm using today is going to be a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette I have a few shades in here that are dupes so I'm gonna leave that down in the description bar and also check out my Instagram it will show you the exact colors that I use that are dupes for that palette so enough of that because this is not a tutorial but you know I just had to mention that I never did a get ready with me so this is a little weird for me but let's see if I can do two things at once and I do my makeup and talk at the same time this might be a fail but we'll we'll fail together so i've been not making videos in mia because i moved Ooh, that is a that is a strong that's a strong color right there and the reason why i wasn't recording is because i was moving and because i've never moved i had a lot of crap like i've never moved before and i'm never moving again because it took way too long to pack took way too long to unpack and then you you sit there and you get in your room together you realize you need tape you need socks you need random stuff i look it was the longest process of my life and i'm never doing it again so that's why i haven't been filming i just kind of want to update y'all on that so i am back ambition rights is back if you have any video ideas or anything that you want me to do then you know what to do leave them in the comments down below i actually read my comments y'all know that i love reading my comments so. so i'm about to talk about power the finale of power so disclaimer if you haven't seen the finale then you might as well just continue watching my face and just mute it because the finale was juicy and i want to talk about it so just look at my beautiful face while i do this makeup look and just just ignore what i'm saying but just mute it and just look at me so power 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 i don't even know where to start like let's start with tasha in the beginning i was rooting for her i'm like girl you know you ghost got him a chocolate girl and like she is bad she's pretty so i was like you know the first couple seasons i'm like yes tasha now i'm just like no like she done cheated she's already cheated with sean or whatever but she done cheated hold on what makeup brush i'm about to use i don't know what i'm doing right now hold on let me get my thoughts together okay she done cheated with some ugly ass lawyer that like ghost looks a lot better and this lawyer is mad shady like oh i can't be your lawyer and your lover like can you just roll with it like why are you catching feelings mad fast and why are you telling me i love you when my daughter just died can you not like tasha he is ugly like what are you doing ghost is so much better i'm not saying i'm not saying that you need to get back with ghost that's completely not what i'm saying because ghost is tripping but like tasha tasha this lawyer dude is ugly like atrocious i haven't forgotten what ghost did in terms of cheating on tasha with angela with ugly at angela like she doesn't have a butt tasha has a butt just saying but anyways um i haven't forgotten him for cheating on her with Angela but like at least give him a try like he was so adamant about like fixing his family after getting out of jail like you basically helped him you was happy for him like don't front Tasha you was happy for him so why you know when he comes out you're just like oh I'm gonna like stand behind him for a second and then divorce him like why are you even thinking like that why why can you work on it for the sake of the kids Especially now that poor Raina died, I get to that in a second. Mm, mm, mm. I get to that in a second. But like, can you at least just make it work a little bit? Like, but then again, I don't know because then, ha did y'all see when Ghost did a little sly look at Angela's butt? I don't know where they were. Were they in court? They were somewhere. No, they were at that event for him. And he was just like, 
Like, why are you looking at her butt? Her non-existent butt. But why are you looking? I thought it, I thought y'all were over. And why are you giving her a kiss on the cheek like y'all friends? That is the enemy. I don't know why you're giving her a kiss on the cheek. And I don't know why. I guess I understand what's her face. Angela still has a heart. But like when Raina died, again, I'll get to that in a second. When she died, she's all like, Jamie, is there anything I can do? No, you've done enough. Like you've done completely enough. You had the balls to come to me and ask me, is there anything you can do when you're basically the cause of all this? So take several seats back five feet away from me and leave me alone. This is what he should have said. But anyways. But yeah, he's still to blame because he's still sitting there giving her a kiss on the cheek. Like, no. She deserves a punch in the lip is what she deserves. All right, let's get to poor Raina. I must have been late to this fact, but I guess Raina is also the twin of Tyreek. Was I the only one that didn't realize that? I must have been mad late with that, my bad. At the school dance, I think is what it was. Tyreek went outside, said he was leaving or whatever. And she followed the poor boy and then she got shot. And then damn Tyreek wants to be like, oh, let me kill the killer that killed my sister. And it's just like, dude, can you should have done it smarter. Because now you're going to send your poor mother to jail because you used your mother's gun. Like, you couldn't be any smarter. Like, you couldn't execute this any better. But of course not, because Tyreek has been dumb this whole season. Not even this whole season, since he's started. And wrote to me. Well, that's his real name. Dre, my bad. Dre is the character name. I just think he's so cute so I don't trust his little light skin ass I don't know what his motives are I don't know what he's thinking I don't know what he's doing but he needs to calm down before he gets himself killed because he will get himself killed and I don't know if I will feel bad I, I'm not sure yet I'll see how my feelings are set up when season 5 comes comes back and Kanan I don't know what Kanan's motives are acting all nice all of a sudden I don't trust you Kanan you need to back the hell away from Ghost and Tommy Kanan you need to figure out your life Kanan you need to do something else Kanan you need to leave Kanan <laughs> like we don't need you out here I don't trust you there's something off about you I watch Insecure again disclaimer and spoiler alert if you haven't watched season two and just again continue watching my face because I'm gonna be watching it. If you finish season one, that's great. But I'm on to season two, so. Issa done cheated on her longtime boyfriend, Lawrence, for this ugly monkey looking dude, Daniel. I guess it was like her ex-boyfriend or whatever. But like, who cares if it's an ex, a new dude, he's uglier than Lawrence, her current boyfriend. Since she cheated on her boyfriend, who, I mean, in all respect, like he was kind of lacking like he didn't have a job he was not motivated like but then again i feel like it was her fault for not motivating him too so i feel like it's both of their faults but that could have just been a conversation they shouldn't have they shouldn't have been any cheating involved what i found funny was that the ugly monkey looking dude daniel didn't want a relationship to, to start and then after they had relations he then is like, oh, you haven't called me, this and that. Like, oh, I thought you didn't want a relationship. Why are you acting all, why are you acting like that? Like, why are you acting mad, like, relationshipable? <laughs> like, why are you all up in my face now? And now Issa wants her boyfriend back. Wants her ex-boyfriend back, Lawrence. Like, do you guys feel sorry for her? If you watch the show, do you guys feel sorry for her? I don't have any other shows now that Power is done. I don't really watch many different shows, so if you have any bomb shows you think I'm gonna like, um, leave them down in the comment below. Oh my gosh, I knew I forgot something. This is why I don't do makeup and talk at the same time. And the other day, I'm on Facebook, just la 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 la, and one of the people that I went to high school with was like, oh, did y'all know that um, Mr. Kerman, which is one of the high school teachers at my high school, um, is in the show Insecure? And I'm just like, who I'm thinking is like one of the old men or something, I don't know, in the show, like one of the random standby characters in the show. So I do my Google thing and I look at the cast of Insecure and I'm like, who the hell was a teacher at my high school? And I look and guess who was a teacher at my high school? Mr. Sexy Gerard was Mr. Is, well, was Mr. Kerman at my high school. Like, what? 
But I used to walk down the hall and be like, ooh, this new teacher is cute or whatever. But I didn't pay much attention to it. But anyway, I didn't pay attention to it when I watched the damn show Insecure. But now that feels mad awkward to me because he was a teacher in high school. He was up close and personal to me. He was in my school. And I could have, I could have got an autograph. I don't know. Who would have known he was going to be in a show Insecure, taking off his shirt and all that. But, you know, hey, at least I know that I know, that I know Mr. Kerman, a.k.a. Gerard, and Insecure. Now my boyfriend's calling me. Now I have something to talk about. I know, I'm A little bit. So let's talk about relationships real quick. His morning routine is so aggravating. Like, he has to listen to something on YouTube every morning. And he goes to work for 9. I go to work for, like, 12. So I want to still be sleeping. And his music, like, sometimes it's music, sometimes it's, like, a motivational speaker. But I'm just like, boy, can you? Put on some headphones or not do that at all like shouldn't you be quiet in the morning like i guess everyone's morning routine is different but can you just calm it down a little bit so like i'm just learning new things about him and for those of you that don't know i have a blog where i talk about relationship stuff and just like how to get through different issues like of course we argue and because we live together now and essentially together 24 7 there's been a couple arguments and we're the same sign as well we're both capricorns we both have like a temper per se like we both have strong personalities and so um i had to kind of like learn well i'm starting to learn when to just shut up and not like make everything an issue but it's hard because he gets on my damn nerves like comment down below if you have a significant other that just gets on your damn nerves and i kind of just want to throw him off the balcony sometimes i just want to be like come here come outside with me real quick like just push him off and you know what else he does when we're watching tv he's always like just asking mad questions like we were watching a tv show last night um a night with my ex he was just like oh why are they trying to get back together oh i'm just like just watch the show like, can you not talk? Like, he always, like, even the movie theaters, like, when we would go watch, like, Fast and Furious and stuff, he'd just be, like, talking. It's like, babe, can you shush? Please, please, shush. Shush. <clears throat> For those that be putting on falsies, and, like, the eye that's not on your dominant side, like, how I'm a righty, and how I just plop the right side on, the left side is always the hardest to put on. Am I the only one that had that issue? Like, the side that I'm not dominant on? Well, I can actually write with both hands, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Like, I can't do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I feel like I'm gonna, like, poke my eye out. Right. I feel like I'm gonna poke my eye out if I use the hand that I don't normally write with. Yeah, if you have a video idea you want me to do, a blog idea, if you are a black-owned business and you want me to feature you on my channel, my Instagram, and my blog, then holler at me, email me, all that. I'm back in business, looking all cute. Again, check the description bar for the makeup details. Don't be asking me in the comments what I used because it's in the description bar. You ever know she got a past description bar to get to the comment section? So you might as well just look in the description bar. Anyways, I'm done. I'm out. Ambition Rights is back. Stay tuned. Peace.